Hi everyone. In this series of podcasting, I am trying to deliver a summary that we can learn from each chapters of the Feynman's lecture series. In this video I am going to discuss about the second chapter from volume 2 of Feynman's lecture. The chapter name is Differential Calculus of Vector Fields. From the first section of this chapter, we can learn that, a physicist should look at a physical problem from different perspectives. If you think mathematical representations are enough to understand a physical system then you are very wrong. In reality the physical system could be more complicated and you have to practice to look at the physics along with the mathematics. A physical understanding is a completely unmathematical, imprecise and inexact thing, but absolutely necessary for a physicist. The second important things that we could learn from this chapter are, scalar and vector fields. A field is a physical quantity that can take different values at different positions. The scalar field may be the most simplest possible physical field and it can be represented by a single number at a particular point. For example temperature is a scalar field. For a temperature file the contour lines, that is a map of connected points having same values are the isotherms. Now let's talk about vector fields. Heat flowing from a hotter region to a colder region or the velocity of the atoms in a rotating object is an example of an vector field. The magnitude of the vector heat flow at a point is the amount of thermal energy that passes, per unit time and per unit area, through an infinitesimal surface area, at right angles to the direction of flow. The next important thing that we could learn from this chapter is that, when fields vary in time, we can describe the variation by giving their derivatives with respect to time t. And we can also define their variations with respect to space coordinates. The three components that is the partial derivatives of temperature t with respect to x, y and z, represents a vector and the component derivatives do transform in a correct way when the coordinate system is rotated. And thus it is a vector field. The next thing we can learn, is that, the difference in the temperature between two nearby points is the dot product of the gradient of temperature t and the displacement vector between the points. Gradient of t is a vector and does not depend on, what scalar field we are differentiating and it has a direction along which it has the largest possible component that is the steepest uphill slope in t. Grad is an operator, but alone it does not mean anything neither t of del del x. But t of del del x still an operator. So t of grad is an operator but grad t is not an operator. We can also learn about the divergence of a vector and the curl of a vector. And using all these various mathematical operations we can construct the Maxwell's equations. Next thing we can learn is, about the differential equations of heat flow and it tells us that the heat flows in a perpendicular direction of the isotherms. Next we can learn about two important theorems. First one is, if the curl of any quantity say A, is zero, then there exists a scalar quantity say psi, such that, A is equal to grad of psi. The second theorem is, is the divergence of any quantity is zero then the quantity must be curl of some other vector field. And Laplacian is a scalar operator. So that's it for this video. For a more detailed study you can read the book and see you in the next video. And do not forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates.